Hey, it's Abdullah and this is the Nokia 8000 4G. It sits alongside the Nokia 8110 and the 2760 flip, but it has a more conventional candy bar form factor. Basically a level above the 5310 and the 6310 in terms of how smart it is. So in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing it, talking about all of its quirks and features and show you what it can do. So you have to open one of these sides and then you can just pull the phone out. This phone is definitely a looker, especially for a feature phone. In the box you get a pretty basic 2.75 watts charger which charges through a micro USB cable. The product's booklets. A 1500 milliamps battery which is obviously removable. And pretty basic headsets which can be connected using a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The glossy black finish looks really good, although touching it definitely means a lot of fingerprints. As a feature phone, this is definitely a looker, especially in this black, although you can get it in a very nice white and in a gold as well as in a blue, if you feel like it. Let's put the battery inside. There is a tiny slit on the back, which opens up the back cover. Make sure the pins match the pins on the battery. Keeping this phone clean is an absolute nightmare. But that's the cost of choosing to go with something that looks really good sometimes. Let's power it on. This is a Kai OS powered smartphone. Nice bit of nostalgia there. Immediately you get asked to choose your language and your keyboards. So I'm gonna go with English and Arabic. The phone does support Wi-Fi, but no five gigahertz. You can select your time and if you have your SIM card, it will automatically do this for you. And as you can see, the phone also supports GPS. Then you just agree to the terms and conditions and you're ready to go. So let's have a quick hardware tour. On the front, there is a 2.8 inch display with a 320 by 240 resolution, which is QVGA. This is a candy bar phone, so naturally you get a D-pad for navigation and navigation keys right under, as well as a back key and a more menu key. The keypad is also backlit and the buttons are nicely spaced. Not the most clicky buttons that I've used, but they're okay. The D-pad on the other hand is a lot easier to use than the one on the 8110, for example, which is good because you will be relying on it for absolutely everything. On the top, there is the power button, which can be used to also lock the screen and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The bottom only houses a micro USB port for charging. Both the right and left sides of the device are devoid of any buttons or ports or openings. The rear houses a two megapixel camera with an LED flash and the loudspeaker. In terms of build, the whole device is made out of sturdy plastic Plastic, so you shouldn't be too worried about dropping this and breaking anything. And while the black unit that I have isn't exactly the most practical color option because of how easily it gathers fingerprints, it definitely is a looker. If you want something a bit more practical, then the white version would probably do a bit better. Now, in terms of processing power, this comes with the Qualcomm 8909 processor. It also comes with 512 megabytes of RAM and comes with four gigabytes of built-in storage and supports an SD card slot, so you can go up to 32 gigabytes of additional storage. Other notable features is that it supports Bluetooth 4.0 it has Wi-Fi, it has GPS, and it even supports 4G. As for the operating system, the Nokia 8000 comes with KaiOS 2.5.4, and KaiOS does have a lot of smartphone features that you've come to expect. So the device supports apps such as WhatsApp, Facebook, Google Maps, YouTube, Google Assistant, and even has its own app store. Operation does seem snappy enough, and it does seem a bit faster than my 8110. 
there is a pretty basic web browser. You can also sync your email and it also comes with FM radio, although you do have to connect your headset to activate this feature. It does have some games that come pre-installed, such as the Iconic Snake and other games that you can trial and then buy if you're enjoying them. Do keep in mind that the WhatsApp app does not support video calls or audio calls at all. So it's just used as a messaging service, but you can still send audio notes. Here's how the Nokia 8000 compares to the others in the lineup in terms of size. So who's this device for? It's for someone who's looking for a reliable feature phone with battery life that will last you multiple days that still requires some smartphone features and is also looking for something stylish and a bit more traditional. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about the Nokia 8000. And if you have any questions, do share them with me in the comments down below. I'm a huge fan of how this thing looks, although it's definitely a nightmare to keep clean. That's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.